Capricorn friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to be doing a bi-weekly for you guys this time. I really have no choice. With the Easter holiday, I have to give you guys a bi-weekly. So it's going to go from March 25th to April 8th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. If you are not subscribed to my channel, Capricorn, please click the pink subscribe. I would so much appreciate that. So for your reading, I am using the Morgan Greer Tarot. And I'm also going to be pulling you uh, Messages from the Fairies Oracle card. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as always, Capricorn, just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. Capricorn Spirit, March 25th to April 8th, 2018. Capricorn. Okay, that feels perfect, guys. I'm going to be doing 10 cards, though, for you guys. Um, those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Well, I am on the Instant Go app now as well. For those of you that want a private reading and you don't want to wait, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Love to have you guys follow me on Instagram. If you like the morning card messages, you'll like what I do over on Instagram. So definitely check it out. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, okay, interesting, is the Lovers. Sorry, I'm just getting situated here. The Lovers card. So a relationship for many of you could be very significant this over the next two weeks. And then for others of you, definitely a decision or a choice is needed. With the Seven of Pentacles as your overall energy, you know, with this card, you have planted the seeds. You're investing in something, but you have to wait, you know, for your seeds to sprout. You, know, you have to wait for that harvest to come in. For others of you, you know, this is you working very hard, planting those seeds. But needing to wait to reap the rewards from the seeds that you planted. You know, for others, this could be this could be you reevaluating something. With the lover's card here, you could be reevaluating a relationship. Some of you might be making a choice or a decision about something that you're kind of reevaluating looking at a situation, looking at the progress that you've made when it comes to a particular matter in, in your life. You know, asking yourself, is this worth any more of my time, energy, effort? You know, you're like, what do I do next? So it is going to be different for all of you. With judgment here and also the lover's card, judgment, I feel decision is definitely important and needed for many of you. And judgment usually represents you making the right decision. So if you are someone that is making a decision and are maybe asking yourself, do I invest any more time, energy, or effort into this? And maybe you're determining if you should or not. Oftentimes with judgment, that judgment can confirm that you are making the right decision. And you also have the fool next, sitting next to this. 
This could also be a decision about a new beginning, starting down a new path. Or maybe some of you have a risk that you're needing, that you're, that you're taking. With the fool, but also with, with death here, you know, definitely new beginnings are absolutely in the cards for many of you. With, with the death card, this could definitely be something ending within your life and creating that space for something new to come in. Or, there, or this is something that's transforming to where things are never going to be the same. <coughs> I'm so sorry, excuse me. And with the Five of Cups here, this is interesting. I do feel for some of you that this is a pessimistic energy here. It's almost like you have this new beginning, you have this decision that you need to make, but it's almost like you might be fearing that things are going, aren't, go, are, aren't going to go well. Or if, or if this is taking some time, because with some of these energies here, this might not be something that's happening overnight. This definitely could be a process. So I do feel for some of you, this is you looking at the more negative side of things, focused on what you have lost, maybe a little pessimistic about how something is developing or if it's taking a long time. Now, for a few of you, you could have suffered a loss, you know, with, with, with death and the five of cups. And if that's the case, most likely it is a relationship with the lover's card here. And with the seven of pentacles, I really do feel like this is a relationship. So if there was a loss, it is most likely a relationship that's coming to an end but with judgment here, it could be that you're the one that's making the final decision. And it could also be why you have the fool here. Because it is a risk, to, you know, to put yourself back out there. Or to, you know, end, leave this relationship to move forward down a new path. Maybe for some of you, this relationship might have been as rewarding for you as you had hoped for. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Let me grab a quick drink. And like I mentioned, you know, with some of these <clears throat> energies, this is definitely a process. It's not something that's happening quickly. But the good news is, because you have death here, you are going through this transformation, this great change. But again, it is a process. And with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords here, really, sitting next to this, you could, you definitely could be dealing with a stubborn air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The King of Swords can also be an attorney. For some of you, this could be the person that you're waiting on. For those of you that maybe have something legal going on, the King of Swords... <clears throat> For those of you that this has nothing to do with the relationship, 
you might have a legal matter that you're waiting on. You're waiting on that judgment, waiting on hearing from your attorney. If you're waiting on news from your attorney, please just try to stay calm. Try to stay out of your head. You do have the Nine of Swords. And this is... Some of you could be, you know, experiencing a lot of fear, worry, anxiety, maybe even, you know, some sleepless nights. Try to do things that comfort you. And please, please, please try to stay out of your head. You have two nines here. The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. And that shows me that you are very, very close to completing a cycle within your life. You are so, so close to completing a cycle or a chapter within your life. With the Nine of Cups here, I feel like, you know, like you need to do things that make you happy. Overindulge just a little bit. You know, it is the, the holiday, you know, those of you that are, you know, celebrating Easter, it is showing up in every single sign that I've done so far, spending time with friends, family. It makes sense because, you know, it is a holiday. That's going to make you happy. It's going to get your mind off of things. And that's what you need to do for some of you. I absolutely feel like a decision or a resolution is on its way, especially with the the death card here. Change is definitely on the horizon. Some of you just might need to be patient. Those of you that this is a legal matter and you're waiting to be able to start down this new path, please don't give up. Stay focused. Don't give up. Continue on, you know, working very hard, planting those seeds. Because you will reap the rewards. You know, let's remember too, judgment is a karmic energy. So you definitely will reap these rewards. And then, of course, those of you that maybe you have an important decision to make about a relationship, but let me get you an Oracle card for additional guidance, clarification. Capricorn. Additional guidance for Capricorn. All right, that's going to be the one. Oh my gosh, wow. This really confirms what I just said. Walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. A relationship could be ending. And if not, a relationship, a situation. And it might not be the easiest because you might be the one... That's act, that actually needs to make that decision. Like you have the final say. So I think that's what you need to do is walk away. Remember, you know, with death, when you do experience an ending within your life, there is always a new beginning. You, you're creating that space for something new and wonderful to come in. You know, this is really saying to leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. You know, for some of you, it could really be a wish come true. Something that really makes you emotionally very, very happy. Okay, Capricorn. 
That ended very nicely. I hope that the reading helps you guys out for the week. If not, you know, look at your other signs. I always suggest you should do that anyway. It gives you a bigger picture. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But um, again, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, wonderful Easter. The monthlies right behind the weeklies. So I will see you guys back here very soon for that. Until then, guys, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.